Now at five, and a new twist in the fight for freedom for 24 Cubans who tried to make it to the U.S. by climbing a lighthouse off the Florida Keys. It comes in the form of an SOS. CBS 4's Gary Nelson live in Miami tonight with the details. Gary. And this is a plot twist like something right out of a movie. Those refugees issuing a plea for help and complaining of alleged abuses on board a Coast Guard cutter. Their message delivered in a letter in a bottle. A cutter at sea has been home now for 40 days for the so-called Lighthouse 24. 24 Cuban migrants who made it to a lighthouse miles off the Keys and are detained by the Coast Guard. Judge Darren Gales ruled this week the Coast Guard had the authority to intercept the wet foot migrants and could return them to Cuba. But presented in court today, a letter literally in a bottle found by a fisherman written by one of the migrants saying they were being physically abused on the cutter, sleeping on the floor and being fed food fit for dogs. Their attorneys say the allegations are all the more reason they should not be returned to Cuba. We would have rather had the witnesses remain as material witnesses, but uh, we were told that the interviews can be conducted in Cuba if necessary. The Coast Guard confirmed the letter in a bottle did come from the migrants and promised a full investigation of the alleged abuse. The Lighthouse refugees' lawyers asked to be allowed to speak with them by radio or phone. Uh, these individuals are desperately reaching out to counsel and we think it is very important that we have immediate access to our clients. Assistant U.S. Attorney Dexter Lee argued, though, the migrants are not citizens and have no right to legal counsel, no rights at all. Their relatives here feeling hopeless amid a disturbing letter in a bottle and court rulings that have gone against them. Fernando Alvarez has a cousin on the left there and good friends on the cutter. We were helpful to the just beside for them to stay in the United States. And now we saw the, all the hopes going down. And the judge told the Coast Guard today he can't prevent them from returning the migrants to Cuba. Will these migrants get a full trial-like hearing on whether they'll be allowed to come to the United States? Will their attorneys be allowed to talk with them in some fashion on board that Coast Guard cutter? Judge Gale said he will answer both of those questions quickly. We're live in Miami. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.